Hey guys, Manus701 here, and I'm bringing you another gameplay video of uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter. Uh, and you're probably wondering why I called this video Hurricane Mantis. Well, the first reason is because while I was playing this round and while I was editing this footage, Hurricane Sandy is currently blowing through my area as well as all the neighboring states. Now, uh... I'm getting a shitload of rain and there is flooding in my uh, town, but so far I have miraculously not lost power and uh, I have not seen any major damage, like not even like big tree limbs or anything. So, so far uh, my area, which is southeastern Pennsylvania near Philadelphia, has not gotten hit by Sandy too hard as thus far. Um, however, New Jersey, New York, especially the Manhattan area, are getting absolutely creamed. If you've seen the pictures on the internet, you can see the massive amounts of flooding that is going on there. So I, uh, my parents live in New Jersey, and I hope uh, everything goes well for them. Anyway, the second reason this is called Hurricane Mantis is because I played Point Man for the first time tonight while playing Medal of Honor, and... Uh, it fits my playstyle pretty damn well, and I blew through the enemy team on several kill streaks like a hurricane. Thus, I just called this video Hurricane Mantis for those two reasons. Now I'm playing. Uh, once again, I'm playing with Barbaric Mustard, uh, and so far, the couple times we've played, uh, we're really good at playing the objective and trying to win. Um, unfortunately. We didn't win this round. Uh, oh, we're playing Hotspot. And we tried our best, but our team was pretty terrible, other than us. And uh, the team we were playing against consisted of... Uh, half the team was from one clan, and I think they're all communicating with each other pretty well. And we couldn't beat them. They were very, very tough to play against. Um, but we still had a lot of fun, even though we lost. Uh, we did pull off one successful plant oh mustard did and uh, we were able to defend it and detonate it but we weren't able to get any others our pretty much our fire team carried our whole team I think with a little more practice me and mustard could get pretty good at this game I've still have put very little play time into this and I'm not used to a whole lot or how everything works in Medal of Honor but hopefully as I uh, play it a little more, I'll figure things out and understand how the game works better. And uh, as me and Mustard get more chemistry, hopefully we'll be able to start rolling over enemy teams with ease. It is also quite funny playing with uh, Mustard because sometimes when he runs into a guy that he didn't know was there, he jumps halfway out of his chair and he's like, Oh my god, holy shit! And it's kind of funny to listen to him. It's especially kind of in the same way when any of us uh, like Smitty or Smitty or Kane or myself knife him and he he jumps he just shits himself and and screams it's it's funny to listen to in team speak anyways about the point man class uh, after watching some videos in the on uh, YouTube about the point man class I decided that I needed to try it out because it sounds like this class would fit my playstyle pretty well and I was right. I, you, you gotta play it differently than the other classes because uh, this class is not meant to hold still and get in a firefight with uh, the enemy. This class is very fast and is designed for flanking and getting around behind the enemy and doing as much damage as possible, which is exactly what I love to do in Battlefield. Uh, you get this. Uh, 30 bullets of very high powered ammunition but also increases your recoil like crazy so you can dish out lots of damage but you gotta learn to control that recoil then you have a secondary shotgun instead of a pistol which you can whip out and when you run out of, uh, of your high powered ammo you switch to that if you're in the middle of a fight and start popping guys with that and then if you run out of ammo with that you pull out your tomahawk obviously and start swinging and that's what I like to do. I like to, I like to flank around the side as fast as quietly as possible, and wreak havoc behind the enemy. 
Of course, you could pr you probably knew that already from all my knifing videos. It also helped a lot me getting behind enemy lines because then Mustard, if he dies on the front lines, I can wait for him and for to, him to spawn on me, and then we're both behind him, and then we can surprise the enemy. Hopefully, another thing I like to mention is that tomahawking people, uh, doing the tomahawk takedowns in this game is really fun and really satisfying. I think the uh, animation is even uh, cooler than the knife takedown animation in Battlefield 3. Just walk up with a guy and it's just, you completely own him with that tomahawk and it's incredibly satisfying. Um, I got a couple tomahawk takedowns in this round. Uh, one I, uh, I avenged mustard and the other one we, act we both actually got behind a couple guys and I took down one and he attempted to take down the other. It's actually at the end of the round, I think. So if I, as I gradually get better at uh, doing tomahawk takedowns, may, I'll hopefully start trying to do a, a tomahawking the pub stars video. But I really don't know if, if all these pub stars are going to play Medal of Honor very long. Like I mentioned before in my other video, it it just doesn't seem like this game is got, is catching on with people like Battlefield did. Well, that's all I really have to say uh, for this video. I think there's only a couple minutes of gameplay footage left for you to watch because I was talking so long. But I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And uh, if you're in the path of Hurricane Sandy, I hope everything goes well for you and you stay safe. Uh, until next time, this is Mantis 701 And remember, always watch your back. Later. Bye. There's one guy. Got him. Swinging around behind us right now, from the inside of this top, uh, lighthouse. All right, I'm, I'm making a move. There's a guy camping behind those barrels. I'm planting right now behind. You. I'm dead. Oh, good shot. <laughs> Fucking shotgun beast, dude. Dude, this is handy. Let's now. Do this. He's still there. No, he's right in front. Right in front. Oh, I'm dead. There's at least three. Ah, shit. No, we're actually planning it. So we didn't get it done. We've got some momentum. Oh, I got, I got popped. I got popped. Pretty good. I'm not dead, but uh, I'm hurting. We're planting, we're throwing mortars on the objective right now. I need to go left. I'm going, I'm going now. I'm, I'm running out. Oh, oh shit, there's like three of them. There's like three of them. Uh, right down the hallway. No. Yeah, I see him. I see him. Eat that, you bitch! <laughs> Oh, I, I got on your screen just in time to see that. That was awesome. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? Got him. Oh, I was going for it. I died. Oh, no. I had a freaking proximity mic again. Uh, I see it always at the last possible second. Poor dead. Right, how much time have we got now? I mean, oh, we didn't get it, okay. Get it. <laughs> I spawned right behind two of them. Oh, that felt good. An actual good spawn for once. I got one over here. Oh, two of them, two of them. I got one. Got the, oh, there's three. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a third one. I was knifing the other one and died as I was knifing him.